So please put your hands together and welcome, I, have to, I hope I pronounce these correctly because it's almost as hard as Zucci as a surname. Please welcome Damien Joaquin and Guillaume de la Gosse. That's him. <laughs> There we go. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. We had some, we had some powerful stories today. Great stuff. So uh, very humbled to be here today with you guys. I didn't think we'd be on that stage, but we are. Um, so my name is Damien, and, and we're both French. <laughs> We're starting to feel a bit English, actually. <laughs> so, um, just to tell you a bit more about myself. Um, I've been in London for 12 years. Um, I used to be uh, a singer. And um, uh, I won Glastonbury and Side Performers in 2005. I was in signed bands. And um, 29 years old, I damaged my vocal cords. So I had to stop singing and uh, went to study finance. Did some part-time course get qualified, get a job in finance, made some money. <coughs> then got to, uh, to invest, really. And uh, about myself, um, well, I'm initially an engineer. But as uh, I sh the pictures show, I'm more, I was more like uh, into the beauty of mathematics and all these things. And I, I wasn't less into the beauty of uh, transistors. So I didn't feel like uh, being an engineer. I, was, I felt like being uh, an entrepreneur. And uh, as the other sh photo shows, very soon I became, one of my first ventures was to become a poker player for, uh, for a living when I, st when I stopped uh, engineering. And uh, so it was great. I went, uh, I went, uh, I got sponsored. I got a bit known, I got sponsored. Uh, I traveled a lot through uh, the tournaments and it was a great lifestyle. And it, it, was, it was good, uh, it was a great uh, a job. I, I did that until uh, 2011. And that's when uh, we met with Damien. That's right. I mean, as you can see, we're completely different people. <laughs> so, um, um, just to give you a bit of background, um, how did we become friends? Basically, that was a really um, difficult time of our lives, to be honest. Uh, when I met Guillaume, um, my granddad passed away. Uh, my grandmother died three years before, and they, they raised me up because I lost my parents when I was four. And um, Guillaume just happened to lose his dad, so we had these commonalities, I would say. How would you, how would you describe it? It was definitely a, a difficult time for both of us. We had met a few years before, but just we, we, we happened to meet again and, and to share some, a lot of things, actually, and to understand that the most, most important thing, we could help each other in many ways because we're so different, as Damien said. In, but in many ways, we, tried, we learned on the journey exactly um, the different ways where you know, we complement each other, which is great. Uh, yeah, it's true, it was, I, uh, yeah, I, I was myself in a bit of a, a low point because I, I had lost my, actually my, uh, the, the three pillars, pillars of my life, which are where, where my, uh, my father, my grandfather, my uncle, at the very, in a very short time, which were the people I, you know, would made, made me who I was, and that was, uh, uh, you know, we, we both saw how to each help each other, basically. Mm -hmm. And um, we also uh, were looking for houses at, this, at the time, so it was like an obvious match, and we decided to go for it and to, to help, you know, to, to join venture together, basically, at the, at the beginning. And then we become friends and we shared the journey, which was, you know, much larger than just houses, basically. Yeah, it, was, uh, it was a bit of a hit and miss, to be honest with you. We, we tried to... We did commodities, we did gold, we did stock and shares. Yeah, he can't help himself. And I have many ideas, David. <laughs> and we, we tried, we, <laughs> we did so many things together. Yeah, it didn't really work. But then, yes, property was definitely um, the, the one, you know, he had the security of gold, but he also had the, the return of stock and shares. So it was, um, it was a pretty good one. Um, and then we developed a new strategy, Homes Under the Hammer. <laughs> Yeah, so our first, uh, I, we, we didn't know anything, basically. So the first thing we thought about doing better than going to uh, an estate agent to buy property was doing some auctions, basically. So the first six months together, we, we visited uh, 
hundreds of tens of properties and we went to a lot of auctions. It was a very long process because we, we were, due diligence was taking the long, a lot of time, uh, the, uh, the visits were taking a lot of time, we we're going to auctions. We did some uh, lists of houses we wanted to purchase. Uh, we never bought, purchased them because they were going too high compared to our prices because we were um, not confident enough. So we were only having very low uh, uh, thresholds. So that was a very long um, process. We ended up buying the first project after six months. Yes, right. Uh, it was a studio flat in Stock Newington. We bought auction. Um, we refurbished it to a high standard. I mean, not physically ourselves, as we can see. <laughs> <laughs> but we got people to do it. And uh, yeah, so we, yeah, it was a great experience, but we had lots of problems. Um, we had builders they were not really um, honest. Um, that was our mistake, you know, obviously. We project managed the whole thing, so that was, that was the biggest learning. We went over budget, uh, we didn't respect the schedule, and teamwork was a bit chaotic at times. <laughs> but we did it. So, um, yes, and then we, we basically did another property. Yeah, we, we got very excited actually to be able to, when, when you finish the first project, even though it was a bit longer than expected, and uh, we thought let's do it again, and that's when you know, we got excited and went to the second one, tried to, to make things a bit better, so we, 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 um, we used sources to, to do the property, but we didn't really check, you know, the, uh, most of, we didn't check everything ourselves, so basically that's, that's when everything got wrong. <laughs> Uh, we trusted someone else, um, we, we didn't know enough, and that's, from all the excitement, we went down to the bo rock bottom, and that's when, uh, basically, we purchased this house at auctions, we, and because we purchased this cash, we didn't, we, we didn't know it, uh, we thought it was another side of, uh, a type of concrete, which was not mortgageable, which made it hard to sell, and also, everything got wrong, so the tenant didn't pay, um, there was, uh, the, the, the figures were a bit overestimated, so we start, started to panic a little bit mm -hmm. and say, mm, uh, you know, let's... Uh, put, the, put the next uh, the slide. That was us, basically. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Guillaume crying on the sofa. <laughs> uh, but, I had to. Uh, so, yeah. yeah. It was, yeah, it was a difficult time, wasn't it? Yeah, and that's, uh, that's when we really thought about how to move forward. Um, that's when, you know, we thought we were not committing enough time and, and everything. So that's when we quit everything else and focus on property and, f and uh, look for education, look for a network of people who could help us. And that's when we did some research and, and joined Mastermind because, you know, we, we, we thought it was uh, the best thing we could... Uh, which could help us, basically. Yeah, effectively, I mean, <clears throat> Mastermind, you know, would give us all the things we didn't have, which is, for example, education, um, environment, support. We did have the mindset, but we didn't have all the things that make it come together. So, um, yeah, Mastermind has been uh, definitely uh, changing our lives, to say the least. Um, what's your take on Mastermind? Well, we, we definitely came here to, to meet great people, and that's been amazing. Like, we, we, when we saw Simon, uh, we realized he would attract the right people with, with the type of people we want to, to work with, and it's, it's, it's came true, so it's, it's been amazing. And then the, the education has been uh, you know, uh, the, uh, like, uh, changing for us, because now we've, we've stepped up a lot in, uh, in, our, uh, in what we can do, and uh, it's been amazing. So that's um, yeah. our first six months. So basically, we did what Simon said and a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> um, so basically, yes, um, if we um, went for flips. We tried flips. We tried JV. These two worked. Uh, we tried student led. That didn't work. <laughs> uh, refurbs, well, as you, you know, can, kind of. Uh, was that options? No, that, that didn't. <laughs> no. no, in London, no, in London. HMOs, yeah, we did one. It's okay. Rent to rent, nah. 
Landing. <laughs> Bars, yeah. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> Next. Um, clubs, yeah, same. <laughs> Restaurants, yeah, no, apps. Yeah. So we, we were very open minded and we wanted to try things out. We wanted to get out of your comfort zone and experiment things and try to make sense of all the options. That's next. Yeah. So that's, yeah, the first six months were a great experience. Uh, we worked a lot and didn't succeed much, actually, because but it was uh, overall something we were very happy we did. Um, and uh, after the six months, something happened, something like we, we relaxed a little bit, we didn't uh, work that much and, you know, put everything come up a little bit together to make it different. Basi um, yes, for example, we, um, we've been, we've been, you know, all the things, the m mindset uh, help that we get. Uh, for example, I remember something uh, you mentioned also already is make, the call with make prestige after a, f a few months in Mastermind. Look, like redefined uh, our vision of ourselves and how we work with others and it's been like uh, incredible. We, we, uh, we've really found our strengths and weaknesses mm. and how to work together and everything. Um, it's been a high point. We've been um, so. I remember once there was uh, this moment where we worked so, working so much, and I, after two weeks working all the time, and I said, I said, okay, let's relax and go to a bar tonight. And that's where, by chance, um, I met a lovely person who uh, gave me a lead for a, a rent rent, basically. I was, th I thought, okay, let's maybe more be, be, be more open and uh, let things come to us more and be more uh, open to opportunities, basically. So that changed our, our way of doing things. Uh, and we focused on our strength. We thought, you know, we, we used a lot of what's been, to, you know, we've been learning through the first six months. Mm -hmm. So we focused on our strengths. There was a, a high point also, <laughs> meeting, meeting, uh, I remember meeting Tara at the Canary Wharf pin, I remember. We had a great conversation and uh, meeting, basically talking to all the masterminders and showing us the great deals everybody's doing uh, made us confident to, to, talk, to talk more about pe to people what, about what we're doing, to borrow more money or talk about, uh, you know, just for the future in, in the case we could uh, borrow money and that was, uh, that changed everything. So we started to focus on what we like most what we enjoy most, which was adding value, offering a service to, pe you know, uh, to our friends who want to get returns, um, build some houses. That's what we feel like we, we enjoy most, mm -hmm. and uh, meet the right people who, who help us do it within the, the great network we've been in, in, in this year. And that's basically we, we decided to go into. Uh, bigger deals and development, and because uh, we, I think it, it helps everybody to be going to bigger deals because it's more secure for for us, for the investors, and makes more profit for everybody, and creates you know uh, less also a, a more manageable profit uh, portfolio. So that's when we uh, did our, our first project into bigger deals. We we, <coughs> we went into a JV because we want to learn uh, you know by approaching, uh, working with the right people who have more experience. So we worked on a JV. And uh, so that's a deal from a masterminder from last year, from a mastermind 12, uh, Nick Salman, from which we've learned so much uh, working together. And uh, so this one is, is the conversion of flats. Um, and well, he, he's been talking about it already, but it's Sharing this experience has been amazing for us to learn all the issues around managing a project, which are the dealing with uh, all the the power team and maybe have a better um, view of all the aspects of the of a project basically. Mm -hmm. And then we decided to do more flats, you know, why stopping? So um, <coughs> we booked a, a large commercial building, uh, which we converted at the moment into twelve apartments. Total GDV two point four million. Um, profit on cost 25%. Um, we booked another one. Uh, this one we're doing, uh, it's another large 
commercial. We're doing 24 apartments with this one. Um, total GDV, um, 3.9 million. And profit on cost, 25%. Um, so it's kind of the strategy we, we chose. Um, and yeah, we enjoy it. And now, um, uh, also, we, we're, we're looking at, we, are, we've, we have a lockout agreement on this uh, exciting deal for us, which is an, another step we want to take, is to uh, go into a new build. And this, this is, um, we haven't exchanged yet on this one, but we are about to exchange next month. So we, we thought we'd talk about it also. Yeah, we have a lockout agreement, so. So this is a bigger one. Um, but basically, once we get, um, we, fit, we believe that working with the right people and always keeping it in the mastermind spirit, we, we can still make those happen. And it's not that much more time consuming than a smaller one, actually, mm -hmm. which is, you know, for us, uh, a revelation re we had recently, basically. And uh, on this one, it's like, um, what, what figures are here? It's a GDP of 10 million and profit on cost of uh, 20, 20, 25%. And this is uh, 18 months. We, we plan on the 18 months um, term, and it's uh, you know it's <laughs> we we really hope it that nothing happens in the next few weeks, basically. <laughs> so basically, now our figures for 2013, 2014. Uh, we already at the moment we because we're doing all these projects and they still you know the works are being carried out as we speak. So our cash flow is only 14,000 per year for both of us. <laughs> we can't do much. Um, but um, when you will be uh, completed, uh, the cash flow will be 168,000 pounds. Um, we done a flip as well. So we got 150K from this one. And a development portfolio of ready exchange, 9.3 million pounds worth of property. With the deal we're doing at the moment, it's 10.5 million. That brings us to a total of 19.8 million pounds of portfolio. Uh, we've got another 7.5 million pounds in the pipeline. Thank you. Thank you. For us, it's, it's really about the journey we've been living together and, and with everybody. And summing it up, I found out this very interesting diagram recently, which I want to share with you. Um, it's basically the flow diagram from Six and Miali. I'm not too sure about the name. And it, sh it shows where we were at the beginning. Uh, when we started our journey together, we had basically no skills, and the change was huge. As the time went, uh, at the end of the first project, we thought we, you know, we, we got more experience. And then that's when everything got wrong. And, no, and then we started the, the second project and we got very excited and we thought we were there already and ready to go. And then that's where big reality check happens, basically, when you know, everything can go wrong sometimes. And uh, that's where we, we went to Mastermind and gone back, you know, it's been a, a great journey through back to, uh, to now, the, hopefully the beginning of, of, a, of a time where we can do uh, you know, more, we, can, we find ourselves, we know how to work together, everything's going, you know, at the right place, and it's, it's like the beginning of a, a new adventure, basically. So, um, our top tips? Yeah. Uh, what, you know, part of Mastermind is working on the, our values, and we've realized the what, number one is, for us, is fairness. That's very important for us to always reward everyone accordingly to their job, and, to make sure we, we work together nicely in the, in the long term. And help others whenever uh, you can, because you know, when you help others, you help yourself. Strongly believe that, and we're all in this together. So um, yeah, um, very important. Yeah, we, re we, start, we realized we really needed to do what we want. We, we loved to be able to be successful. We tried a lot of things. We were, we, which, which are not us, we didn't f succeed, it's not a, there's no chance. So we really want to, to love what we yeah, do. I'm not good at math, he's not good at things I do, so. <laughs> <laughs> we kind of really understood that. Um, talk to everyone about what you do, that's so true. Because um, without our investors, we wouldn't be able to do you know, all this. 
people trust us and that, that allowed us to, to grow and expand. So yeah, really tell everybody what you do. And uh, most, one of the most important ones for us is to uh, network with the right people and uh, ex help each other out with the, the people who, uh, who share the same values and uh, we want to work with in long term, basically. And finally, enjoy the emotional rides and the human adventure because yeah, it's, it's only a journey. That's it's, it's, all, it's only a journey, that's all it is. So. Yeah. It's been a great journey. Thank you. Guys, well done, well done, well done. Well done, guys. Let's hear it for Damien and Gideon!